Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Power Life TV channel, Power Life TV broadcast. We're restoring families with Brian and Natasha. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, baby. <laughs> we made it. We made it. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> so we are doing this new thing. God is doing a new thing in us. <laughs> and it's called Restoring Families. I love it. It's this is really the, good. This is the first broadcast. Of the new year. Of the new of year. Of 2023. Yep. And we're uh, giving you our first uh, season, if you will. Mm -hmm. so I believe we're going to do it in seasons. Mm -hmm. uh, but we want to just give people consistent content. And the the whole theme of our of our motivation and our and the theme of our uh, what you would call meditation, morning meditation, is to help restore families. Absolutely, you know. Yeah. And uh, you know, one of the most important aspects of uh, family and togetherness and being connected is communication. Yeah. And so I love that one of the first things we're talking about is communication. Now. Um, this year in That's our so in our church we're talking about kingdom mm -hmm. and you know i think we miss a very foundational aspect of kingdom when we don't consider communication right right you know god had a way of communicating with his creation all throughout history mm -hmm. throughout every dispensation he found a way to speak to us mm -hmm. today in this day and age and in this dispensation of grace he speaks to us through his word yeah, so, so if there is no speaking forth and understanding of the word then we have no connection with god yeah yeah and, and, and you know that's what, what we're what, what we, we want to get into because the, the, the main part of communication mm -hmm. is hearing. Mm. One of them. One of the main parts. Yeah. I, I would say... It's twice as important. Huh? Yeah, because because <laughs> the Bible says be slow to speak, mm. swift to hear. Yeah. So we have, we have one mouth and two ears. Mm -hmm. I believe God did that for a reason. He wants us to listen twice as much as we speak. Right. And so... Uh, Bible even talks about in Proverbs, a wise man will 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 hold his tongue and mm. you know not say certain things, but yeah. a foolish man will just run off at the mouth. And so we have to understand the art of communication and, mm. and how how to communicate. Right. Um, I love what you just said. You know, God communicates with us. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> I mean, a lot of times we don't consider no. that he's communicating us, but you know, it is his word. And I guess I need to preface that by saying through his word and his spirit, because mm -hmm. some people mm -hmm. feel like they know God because they know the word, mm -hmm. but if they don't have the revelatory knowledge that is only given by the Holy Spirit, in other words, yeah, so it good. takes the Holy Spirit to uncover the rhema word. Mm -hmm the meaning, the mm -hmm. voice of God mm -hmm. behind the word you read. That's good. Come on. Come on. If you are not hearing his voice, you're not hearing it the way he wants you, the way he communicated it, yeah. in other words. Yeah, the way true. he wants you to hear it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yes, you know. Well, I'll, I want to get into the uh, subject matter for today. Mm -hmm. And that is, how do we communicate care? Mm -hmm. You know, when I say I love you, I will show you in real terms. Yeah. Uh, it's the way I treat you. Yeah. It's the way you I, demonstrate. I demonstrate. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know, this is the year of the demonstration. Yeah. You know, when 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 you hear, when I hear you say kingdom, I think I don't I don't just think Christian. Right. And think you don't just, just think title. church. Yeah. And I don't think church. <laughs> I think a way of doing. The Bible says, seek ye first. This is Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That means his way of doing and being right. So we need to seek how he does things. How does the kingdom operate? Well, Jesus made it very clear when he came. He showed us. He says, if a person will curse you, you are to bless him. Yeah, I mean, that just sounds contrary <laughs> to the world we live yeah, in. We're on. like, Lord, what 
kind of kingdom is this? Come on. Because he has us <laughs> doing things that's outside of our natural character. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a challenge. <laughs> it's a challenge. And 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 I I say this when when we got married, it wasn't just because we loved each other. No. We got married because we had we had responsibility. Yeah. A consciousness of responsibility. Right. We we desired to treat each other with care. We desired oh, yes. to not just say we loved each other, but to show it in real terms. Mm-hmm. So we did it, you know, love is more than just an emotion. Love is a decision. That's right. And when I say I love you, mm-hmm. and I'm operating from that kingdom of love, then when I talk to you, I'm going to talk to you like you have value. That's right. I'm going to talk to you like you have purpose. Right. And so I want to jump into uh, the scripture today, and, and you go ahead and give it to us. It's Proverbs, what, chapter 15? Right. We have a... Um... We're talking about the strength of gentleness. And you really see the strength in gentleness. Now, a lot of people, like I said, kingdom mm. things are very contrary to natural things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We think the harder a thing is, then the more powerful it is. Mm-hmm. Or the harsher, should I say. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's just, yeah, you I know, that. that's because it's more intimidating. Mm-hmm because of the fear. We mm-hmm. make fear sometimes bigger in a cursed realm. Mm-hmm. But really, mm. there's more That's strength That's true. and there's more power in gentleness. And we see it in Proverbs 15 and 1 in the Amplified. Yeah. It says this, a soft answer turns away wrath. Yeah. Yeah. You might say, well, hold on. Mm-hmm. If a person is coming at me and they're full of wrath, then I need to give them even more wrath. But that's not what this word says. Yeah. It says, a soft answer turns away yeah. <laughs> rap. So if you're going through a, a, a situation and you say, oh, no, this thing is full of wrath, full of harshness, try a soft answer. Mm. And then it says this, but grievous, or you could say this, harsh words stir up anger. Mm-hmm. Mm. So it's telling you right there that harsh words have the power to make things worse. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's true. (laughs) And, you know, a lot of people are just coming back from the holidays. Mm -hmm. And you can attest to the fact that what I just said is very very true. true. Yeah, yeah. It's it's amazing how people (laughs) get anxious around this time because of the uh, environments that they're going into. It's the the fear of... um, you know, not having someone, uh, a fear of having someone put them down, you know, mm-hmm. or the fear of having someone uh, disrespect them, mm-hmm. you know. And so, you know, I believe it all starts with the idea that we don't know how to control our tongue. Ooh, that's so true. You know, the the, the tongue is connected to the heart. Mm-hmm. And if you understand. Oh, well, your tongue is connected to your spirit. You know, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean by the heart of the. A person's. Attitude. Yeah, a, yeah, that's what I mean. You know, a person's heart, you know, it's it, it comes out. Uh uh-huh. Yeah. And, and, and you can you can hide, you can you can try to act prop, prim and proper. Right. Like, like you don't really have a, a narcissist type of behavior. But when the pressure is applied, that's Ooh. when the. It comes out. It it, it comes out. And I think that's what people experience during the holidays. Mm -hmm. Here we are, you know, and the holiday season has passed by, you know. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are letting out a big sigh of relief (laughs) because they don't have to do this again for another eight, Mm -hmm. nine months, Mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. That's true. (laughs) And, uh, you know, it, Mm. it... you know, I think the Word of God helps us to know how to communicate and how to um, trans- transform bad relationships and bad situations. Mm-hmm. And so the first bit of advice is a soft answer turns away wrath, right. but grievous or harsh words stir up anger. Mm-hmm. Then it says this, the tongue of the wise. Who are the wise? Mm. Well, the Bible says uh, that wisdom begins with the fear of the Lord. So mm. those that know respect. Yeah. Those that know how to honor. Mm-hmm. Right, because that word fear, the f- wisdom begins with the fear. That means the respect of mm-hmm. the Lord. Not being afraid of the Lord, but respecting the mm-hmm. Lord. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you get you learn how to, you train yourself in respect. You know? Right. You discipline yourself in respect. That's so good. So the tongue of the wise, it says, 
utters knowledge rightly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do you think that sometimes people utter knowledge but not wisely? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, I, I like what it continues on to say um, in, the, in the Passion Translation. It says, when wisdom speaks, understanding becomes attractive. Wow. But the words of a fool make their ignorance look laughable. Wow. That's interesting to me. So when you are uttering knowledge, mm -hmm. it's not revelation knowledge. It's not. It's, it's dark knowledge. Wow. It's dark knowledge, yeah. and so it, it makes you know it makes you look foolish almost because what you're saying really has no maybe even no relevance to the situation. Mm. I, I I love the way we communicate, you know, mm -hmm. and I want to bring this kind of to a practical level. For those that are watching, I love the way we communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. uh, but we didn't start out just knowing how to communicate. No. You know, because of the model that we came from. Right. So so we had to learn, first of all, not to just talk to each other, right? Because I think what happens in a lot of relationships is they try to learn how to talk to each other, right? Mm -hmm. So they come to our counseling session and we give them the tools of communication and they try to apply the tools, but the tools or the mentoring will never override the modeling. Right. So what we had to do is we had to have to have the foundation of respect, friendship, mm -hmm. let that be our bedrock so that now when I speak with you, I don't just speak to you as a wife that I've taken for granted, but I speak to you as a as a best friend. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? Yes. When, when I look at you now, I, I don't just see my wife. I see my best friend. Mm -hmm. And we tend to care for those that we call our friends more than we do our spouse. Well, you know, to me, marriage is, is a, you know, and I heard this and I've probably said it a time or two that marriage is work. Mm -hmm. And so when, it you, is. when you place <laughs> that adage it of is. work next to marriage, it compels you to think that it might not be fun mm. to be married. Mm. But when you think of hanging out with your friends, that sounds pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, <laughs> I mean, if I had to do this, I'd rather do it with my best friend. Yeah. Why? Because so we're going to laugh. We're going to joke. We're going to have a party, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. while we're doing something that others might consider work. Yeah. Yeah. So if we just changed our mind and we just changed our attitude, then our communication in marriage would completely This is so change. good. This is so good. You know, yeah. uh -huh. it wouldn't be the, the old, what do you call it? Uh, ball and chain. The old ball and chain. The old lady. <laughs> the old man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. But you know, it goes back to how do I see you? Mm -hmm. And you know, did I marry the love of my life? Right. Or did you marry an old lady? Or did you marry an old lady? You yeah. know? Yeah. Well, what's the Proverbs 18 21 say? You know, and now I want you to go back to the scripture because this is so good. But Proverbs 18 21 says that the power of death and life is where? In, in the, the tongue. tongue. And that those that love it will eat the fruit thereof. Mm, that's true. So whatever you love is what you're going to eat. <sighs> Golly. So if I love, uh, what, what, what's the D word I'm looking for? Uh, drama. If I love Ooh. despair. If I love chaos, I'm going to eat it. But guess what? The reason why I'm speaking it is because I love it. Uh, That's what yes. he's saying. Uh -huh. I, I speak it because I love it. Right. You know, well, he's, I, someone said, I don't love drama. Well, you need to get it out of your mouth. Right. I don't love chaos. Well, get it out of your mouth. Right. What do you want? You know, we always say, speak the desired end result. Right. Mm -hmm. Say over your spouse what you desire. Mm -hmm. Don't call them what you see. Call those things which be not as though, as they, though they are right. And if you're calling her the old lady, mm -hmm. don't be surprised when she acts like one. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> and starts treating you like, well, you know. Oh, that's my old man. Uh -huh. Oh, my old man's good. And then he'll start limping around. Mm -hmm. Getting say, fat. Getting... <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, we're going to work Being out. Being grumpy, you I know. Gotta go work out. <laughs> <laughs> gotta work out. fat. <laughs> But the point is that, you know, a lot of what's happening in 
your in your life is a result of what you've been speaking. Mm -hmm. You've been saying this it. Is good. And now you're surprised that you have what you've been saying. Mm -hmm. So we got to change mm -hmm. the way we speak. Mm -hmm. So it says that the tongue of the wise utters knowledge rightly. Mm -hmm. But the mouth of the self-confident fool mm. pours out folly or foolishness. Mm -hmm. So notice that the person who's a fool, who speaks the wrong thing, is one who's confident in their own ability, but not in God's ability. Mm -hmm. I think that's profound. That's good. That's good. I think it's profound. Mm -hmm. If you're overly critical, if you complain too much, if you murmur too much, you might be a self-confident fool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You might be. Mm -hmm. And this is not, mm -hmm. you know, this is... This is not to accuse. This is, this is to change your mind. This yeah. is to take a look at this word and see it as a mirror and say, I don't want to look like that. Yeah. Some yeah. things in the word ought to stir up some thoughts of, I don't want to look like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is not who I want to be. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be a critical person. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be a complaining and murmuring person. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says that that person pours out foolishness. I want to ask you a question, though. Mm. You know, when a person complains, mm. you know, you, you, you made a statement, and, and I thought it was very profound. You said... When a person complains, uh, it's almost like they're uttering like a fo they're uttering folly. It mm -hmm. makes them look like a fool. Mm -hmm. What happens to the one that feels like they're so broken that they can't stop complaining? You know, what, what about the one that says, you know, I'm damaged goods, but yes, I press on. You know, should, on. should we should we continue to uh, stay in the state and make excuses for the way we are? Or, or do you? Or do we do what you just said? Make the decision to to change. Sometimes people are afraid to change because they think that by changing they are admitting that they were wrong. Mm. They would much rather mm. hold on to their wrong and call it right. But you know the Bible mm. talks about that, and you know it says that in the last days, in the latter days, wow. that Good. that the people would call. Uh, good evil, evil and what call evil good mm -hmm. and so you gotta check your heart mm -hmm. time to do a heart check is my heart that of you know one of a person who would be against Christ mm -hmm. against the anointing am I mm -hmm. like an anti-christ mm -hmm. in the way that I view mm -hmm. my actions mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Am I calling evil good? Am I trying to find a loophole in the word of God? Yeah. Am I trying to find a scripture that will uphold my wrong behavior? Mm. Mm. And you call it antichrist. It's antichrist. It's against the anointing. Okay. Because the anointing is yeah. this. It's that which removes the burden and destroys the yoke. Mm -hmm. Well, if you hold on to this wrong thinking, this wrong behavior, this wrong way of being, you're going to be damaging people mm -hmm. along the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. You know? You know, the anointing, uh, you say, is a burden removing yoke destroying power. You know, what are some burdens and yokes that people have in their lives? You know, mm -hmm. one of the things I believe is a burden and a yoke is that they have this idea that I can't change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't be fixed. I'm damaged goods, like I said earlier. I'm I damaged. was born damaged. I, I was born this way. I was born damaged. <laughs> and, and, and so... Don't try to fix me. It is what it is. It is what it is. I, I'm going to talk to you this way because this is just how I am. Mm. Well, people don't put up with that anymore. You can't do this anymore. We're not living in the 60s, you know. We're living in the, in the, in the and I'm talking about 1960. <laughs> you know, we're living in the 21st century. Uh, 20, 21st century, yeah. <laughs> Are we in the 21st century? Yes. <laughs> 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 Having a coffee. But we live in the 21st century, and so you cannot have this same attitude of superiority and, and, and look down at a person as if they're inferior. And our, our conversation and our communication has to reflect this new attitude. Mm. It has to. Mm. Uh, that's why it's so good that we're taking this time in restoring families 
to teach on how to communication because this is the how to have great communication because this is the bedrock of good relationships. I can see that this is going to be a great series. Mm -hmm. I can already see it. Yeah. I think a lot of people wish they could it be different. Mm -hmm. I think in you know now as we face the new year, you know, people are are thinking it's time for me to see if I could change my future mm -hmm. or to change my present. How about that? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of us are dealing with brokenness in our lives and we're just kind of tired of it. Yeah, that's true. Well, I'm looking forward to also uh, giving tools, giving practical ways of communicating to each other. Right. Uh, I want to look at things like uh, how to be an active listener and how Ooh. to to be an assertive speaker. Now that yeah. word assertive, I think it often gets confused with aggressive. aggressive yeah, <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, that's that's good. To be assertive means to just say what you mean and mean what you say. You mm -hmm. don't have to do it in a harsh manner. Right. Uh, one of the things that I, I we we say to couples mm -hmm. is take the accusation out of your conversation. In other words, stop saying you, start, stop starting the conversation off with you. Right. Start it off with I. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel this way. Right. And it's amazing that in conflict resolution, the first thing you do is not accuse the other person mm -hmm. of what they did to hurt you mm -hmm. or what you believe they did uh, to cause the conflict mm -hmm. you just begin with your part that's right and that's just that's mind-blowing that's mm -hmm. just so revolutionary when you think about restoring families mm -hmm. you know it's like we can all think of a person who from our perspective they are wrong mm -hmm. as two left feet yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like this is not gonna work. Mm -hmm. But if mm -hmm. we can just pay attention to the part, to our part, mm -hmm. what we did wrong, a lot of times we can bring about some sort of resolution. Mm -hmm. That's you know, sometimes we there's a, a part of conflict resolution where you don't end up being best friends. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. But there's but instead you end up deciding that you're going to bury the hatchet mm -hmm. and not in each other's backs, mm -hmm. but you're going to let this situation go. Mm -hmm. You're going to walk away uh, with a level of respect mm -hmm. for the other person uh -huh. and for yourself, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So I want to, um, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to put a pin in this and we're going to pick this up tomorrow. Okay. I want to jump into some things that, hopefully will help the people understand this scripture out of Proverbs chapter 15, verse one, okay. of, of how to give a gentle answer. What is a gentle answer? Oh. You know, how can I do that in this state that we're living in? Right. You know, uh, my, my marriage is uh, at a place of, I feel no return. Mm. And, then and if I don't get a miracle, you know. Yeah, sometimes we think, oh, you know, I keep trying to do the right thing with this person, but they just get under my skin. Mm -hmm. And it, could, it may not be a marriage. It could be a relationship between brothers and sisters. True, true. Yeah. So it's like, you know, what we need to learn, too, on top of everything that we're teaching here is how do we deal with difficult people? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Well, th this subject matter is hearing and being heard. Yes. And uh, one of the things that I say about hearing and being heard is, are you, are you hearing? Mm -hmm. Are you sowing? hearing mm -hmm. you know or are you just desiring to be heard right you know <laughs> um when i when i when i look at the scripture again and again that's that's james and i want to leave i want to leave off with this mm -hmm. it's in james chapter one uh and if you have your bible go ahead and turn it to james chapter one and it says and i believe i'm reading this out of the amplified Bible. Amplified Classic. Amplified Classic. Um, here it is. I understand this. It's verse 19. James 1 and 19. I understand this, my beloved brethren. Let every man be quick to hear, a ready listener, slow to speak, slow to take offense, and to get angry. So when we look at 
this scripture right here and something that I want you to meditate on all day. That's James 1 and 19. It says, let every man be quick to hear. Mm. Be a ready listener. I want to hear yes. you. Mm. Let me understand you. Let me understand where you're coming from because most of the times what we do is we listen to the words and we don't listen to the heart. We don't or listen the hurt. or the hurt. Mm -hmm. And we don't listen to the emotion. Right. You know, so... Uh, we're talking about hearing and being heard. We want you to have a spirit of gentleness, communicating gentleness. And I want you to go and I want you to share this video. I want you to look at it again. I want you to get the nuggets that was pulled out in this session today. I believe that it will literally transform you. You know, we're so busy trying to change the other person. Let's change ourselves. Right. Let's look in the mirror. Let's change ourselves so that we can help change the situation. Amen. You Amen. know, we're starting with the the man and the woman in the mirror. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. So we pray that you receive this word today. Listen, y'all, we we're gonna be doing this every day, uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, we're gonna be on at seven o'clock in the morning. So we want you to tune in. We want you to be a part of it. Listen, our page is called Power Life TV on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also on Facebook, but we also want you to uh, start going out to that YouTube channel and, and click on the like, click on the subscribe, and hit the notification button. Yes. Amen. We also want you to pray about partnering with this ministry uh, and what God is doing in and through this ministry. Yes. Now, uh, our church is called Word Power Church. Mm -hmm. And God gave us that name over 11 years ago. That's right. But one of the things that God showed us is that it, it's not just the power mm -hmm. that we have to operate in. We also must balance it out with the word. The word and the power mm -hmm. flow together. Mm -hmm. And so we're giving you word power, word revelation in these sit in these sessions and we want you to partner with us now there's a there's a qr code on your screen right now if you click on that <coughs> excuse me take a picture of it scan it and then uh it'll take you to a page also you can go to our website go to word power church and click on the give button or the donate tab amen let's take this word all over the world Amen. Let's take it all over the world. We need your help. Amen. We pray that you enjoyed this today. Come back and watch us tomorrow. We love you so much. Let us speak a blessing over you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The, the Lord, Lord make, make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. We declare shalom and, and blessings over, over your life. life. And we declare that Jesus is Lord and he's upholding all things by the word of his, of his power. power. Let's be blessed. We love you, and we'll see you next time. Amen. Amen.